Hi, I'm uh, Charles Maxwell from the University of Arkansas, and uh, I'm standing here in front of a facility that we built several years ago, and this facility is essentially designed uh, with a lot of uh, small pins. In fact, uh, this particular unit has 72 pins, and it's designed to do discovery type research where we can take concepts and ideas that, that are evolving and determine and kind of be the sorting gate for determining which one of those ideas need to be and can be potentially utilized by the industry and should go forward to larger uh, swine production studies to further validate them for industry use. We're also able to incorporate in this facility the, the concept that we could start looking at reductions in nutrient excretion in pigs. So we built into the system uh, four lagoons that feed into this one building. Uh, my part of this whole study is to simply look at uh, nitrogen content and, cr and our crude protein content in swine diets. And, the con and you might ask, why, why nitrogen? Well, it turns out that uh, nitrous oxide has 298 times the uh, greenhouse gas effect as CO2. So obviously a little bit goes a long way. And secondly, we think we have the technology that's already developed that we can apply and reduce uh, nitrogen in the diet. And that is amino acid technology. We have uh, at least six amino acids that we can add to our swine diets, use those to meet the individual amino acid requirements in pigs, at the same time reduce soybean meal in these diets, and as a result, reduce crude protein in the diet. Okay? And the third thing in this general area is that we already know that reducing nitrogen in the feed results in a reduction of nitrogen in the fecal, in the feces, or the manure coming out of a swine productive system. So you might ask, well, what's the problem then? Well, the problem is that we really don't know how far we can go in reducing nitrogen in the diet, or reducing crude protein in the diet, or reducing soy meal in the diet, and adding back amino acids without impacting animal growth uh, and carcass composition in animals. 